Hi, I'm Henning Walgren from Henning Group, and I'm here to show you our T1000 holster hanger. We've created what I think is the most flexible, innovative, adjustable, adaptive holster hanger on the market. We have created a hanger that you have four different independent adjustability functions, and also you can attach pretty much any holster to it. The most common being the Kydex holster, as you can see here. And those are typically, you know, using the three holes on top. We also have the Safari Land style. This has a G code also in it. So this is like the, the, what most people get. But if you want to uh, use it for a rice holster, you can attach like um, the double alpha, both the new and older, they have two different versions. You can do a ghost, and you also have the ability to move it on the back side. It's, you can have it reversed, it's, it's really flexible. And also even uh, an older Limcat race holster I had. So you can go online and you can find pretty much um, everything we do. I think there's something like uh, nine different uh, uh, adapters at the moment. You can see here on my right here, I have one set up here for my single stack. I have one for my open gun. And um, you know, on my body here, I got my carry optics, my CQ20. So let's get into how you can adjust it to your liking. Currently, you know, this year in 2023, I start adapting the, the scoop draw. So what's different about this compared to most of the other hangers or holsters or how they ever set it up is like I typically would have this one set up probably like an inch further forward than I would in the traditional or any other holster hangers holster on the market and what you're doing is you're getting the gun further forward especially USPSA where you can you don't have to be behind the hip bone so what that does you know you set it up to be comfortable but what's nice is I can I can comfortably draw here Let's say on a in a holster where you have it straight in front of you, you know it might be more back here, and you actually, you know, have it for the back. This one I set up a little bit further forward, so at least uh, in my mind, ergonomically, I can draw straight up without having to have my shoulders too far back. So, so that's the that's the um, biggest shift I would say when I move a holster onto this hanger from anything else I've used in the past. I get the gun further forward, easy to draw on the gun. Then the next thing for me is I like to have the gun straight up and down as I can, and also pointing forward. So I'm gonna draw towards you. I like to have the gun more like a natural point of aim for me. So I draw the gun to the target. And that's what you can really do with this, this holster hanger. So if you look at the adjustability, First of all, we have a height adjustment. You have a Picatinny rail, and there's a modified Picatinny. You have two screws in it. You just loosen it. You can see, you just take it out, and then you can move this up and down, whatever you want. You can also, which is a cool thing about this one, for travel, take it off, or you can have a separate piece and put on a different holster. So if you wanna use the same rig, multiple holsters, you can put them on there. So for this one, so let's see, I'm going to go, I'm just going to use one screw here for demonstration purposes. And it's got little numbers on it, so it's easy enough to remember where it is, or, you know, make sure this is a little too low, as you can see, but so you can set it up to your height so um so i'm going to move this up right up there okay so i'm happy with that then the next thing i may want to do and this is kind of cool about this i can do it while it's on my body so let's say for instance I want this gun to point a different direction. So if I'm straight at you here, I can change this. If you have a traditional hanger, you're kind of 
you know, sort of parallel to the hanger. This one, I can tilt it to whatever I want. So now, say I want this one to be pointed more straight to the target, or also like to look at it as like what's parallel to my draw, my hand, how I naturally have my, my draw like this. Two screws here, tighten it down. Next thing here is gonna be the camber adjustment. So you can see, now I have full flexibility here. So if I wanna have this one, and like I said, I like to have it pointing straight up and down. So let's say there. And then the fourth adjustment So I can get it to, we have a little um, Picatinny in here that allows it, kind of secures it, protects it. But let's say, okay, kind of have to take the gun out for this one. You can kind of sort of go in there and adjust it a little bit, you know, test it. It's like, okay, that's what I want it. And this is what something you do on the range. You don't have to take the holster off and you have to take the gun out to get these three screws tightened. And then I say, okay, and I go to range and I shoot. And I want to adjust a little bit. And I go back in, make minor adjustments. Okay. And I adjust one thing and all the other ones stay the same. So that to me is a huge advantage to be able to adjust everything, one thing at a time without everything. If you have like a ball joint thing or something, everything kind of moves and you don't know what the other settings are. So. So now I can I can see okay I shoot yeah comes up for me right okay I'm going to make a small adjustment okay and then I try it again and you also get the screwdriver with the holster too oh yeah feels better so. You can see we have them also in uh, a lot of different colors. These are just some of them. We have, you know, the basic uh, solid colors. We also have these fancy multi artistic versions of them. And those are limited uh, numbers on them. As they sell out, we replace it with different artistic expression. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's pretty much it. This is pretty much explains the T1000. So thank you very much. Appreciate it.